We are all systems go here at the impressive Shanghai International Circuit. And whatever uncertainty the last race in Malaysia calls Formula One's weather watchers, their faith in their radars looks set to be restored with the caveat, of course, heat watching that sky. First corner so decisive in Malaysia. Is Vettel going to get there first now? Slightly sluggish and Alonso makes a bit of a move and looks on side. Weber looks to have got ahead of Vettel. Alonso already into the lead though. Great start by him and Vettel's already dropped back into third place. Alonso from Weber from Vettel. Jump start for Alonso. There's no doubt about it. He's looking out of the window. Alonso jump start. So we'll watch for that on the timing screen from the officials. Button is still ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Massa's still in seventh place but Alonso flying start there. Vettel now trying to dance his way past Mark Webber coming through on the inside of the camera to turn six. Webber still ahead. Button very close to Nico Rosberg. Massa very close also to Lewis Hamilton. Big uh, connection oh. there to the back of the field. Four cars there. Is that Liuzzi? Hulkenberg, De La Rosa maybe? Trying to pick that up. Yellow flags out. So it's Liuzzi, Kobayashi and Buemi. Oh, what a weekend he's had. Remember he had that enormous accident on Friday when the two wheels just leapt off going down the back straight in practice. OK, so oh. Liuzzi drops it under braking and the rear end oh, right over the top. And that's uh, sort of gearboxed himself into the side. Here we go again. The Sauber, he just drops it under braking as he pulls a downshift and uh, we're on board the Williams then that sort of just finds its way around. Good driving. Ferrari have been out in the pit lane for a good lap now. I think they want to counter what they know is going to be a drive-through penalty for Fernando Alonso for that rather blatant jump start. I saw it from the pit lane as well, Martin, so you won't imagine things. I believe it'll be a stop-and-go penalty for Alonso, but you're not allowed to serve a penalty under the safety car. So intermediates for Mark Webber. It's a bit of a gamble, maybe. And look at the stacking up. In comes Vettel. So Alonso's, Alonso's been in, so's Massa. Alonso's pitting for tyres, not for the penalty. He'll have to come back through again. This was always the worst case scenario for Red Bull. Everything just thrown up in the air. And that didn't work well for Vettel. He had to queue. They had to get the other. There's no refueling now, but they still have to get the other tyres ready for him. He's behind Massa, Schumacher, Hamilton. There is Sebastian Vettel. Safety car is in this lap, so they've got to go and catch it up. And uh, Hamilton's staying. He's changed his mind. Hamilton's done a late pit stop. And his, that's a replay, as you can see. But uh, he uh, was going round and suddenly got the radio call to come in. So he's on the intermediates, but Jensen Button is still out there. Now, careful also to watch anyone weaving, because the drivers after the Hamilton incident in Malaysia decided at their meeting that that would not be permissible again, that it would not be a warning, it would be a penalty. Petrov there being hounded by De La Rosa. Look how much more grip Mass has got on those intermediate Alonso, tyres. Sorry, Alonso is driving around the outside. He's got so much more grip as they tippy-toe on the dry, slick tyres. So Alonso in sixth place at the moment, Sutil. Eighth, it's Rosberg, Button, Kubica, Petrov, De La Rosa, Alonso, Kovalainen, and Sutil, Barrichello and Algashwari. There goes Alonso, a bit of a fishtail at the back there, but accelerates hard forward towards Petrov just ahead of him. Now the early impression is that going on to Inters was exactly the right move, and they'll catch the two leaders in short order. See how long they last though in these conditions. They could be gone in three laps and they need to pit anyway. Some slipstreaming and positioning going on down the back straight for those still on slick tyres. And still Rosa and Petrov as they come down this back straight. There's Jensen Button, ever so careful. Kubitz is also on the soft tyre still, the dry tyre, the slicks. Still Rosa's past Petrov. Massa just behind. There's Lewis Hamilton down in 14th place. There's Michael Schumacher in 13th. Very cagey at the moment. What are the conditions going to do? Are they going to change? Is it going to be the right call to stay out? There goes Rosberg and Button. And Rosberg just sets the fastest lap on slick tyres, 151.3. But he wasn't trying to overtake a load of people, so we'll have a look on lap two and see what the uh, relative performances are. But Schumacher... Michael Schumacher's coming in, isn't he, Martin? Schumacher's yeah. coming in for a stop. That's his second stop. So maybe the Mercedes mechanics, they were waiting for him. Slicks he's gone out on. 
That's uh, Hamilton and Vettel then struggling around. So it's just a drive through. Vettel trying to come up the inside of Hamilton. I wonder if they're just burning already those uh, intermediate tyres. They need, uh, they're designed to run at much cooler temperatures in wet conditions. And those pair are really struggling to get the power down. Let's look at the lap time. So 151.3 for Rosberg. Let's just see how Vettel does. He's got a bit less downforce than Weber on his uh, Red Bull. How he does in the slipstream of the McLaren. As Alonso hasn't been given a penalty yet. Yes, he has. He's been given the drive-through now. So he can serve that in the next three laps. And he serves it now. Alonso coming straight through the pit lane, Ted. The intermediate tyres have gone, they have burnt out. Lewis Hamilton been on the radio saying there's no more life in these left. I need to go back to slicks. Michael Schumacher was the first one to realise that and has come in. Now Fernando Alonso serving his penalty right now and both Red Bulls about to come in this lap. The Red Bull guys are ready. We think the problem that delayed Mark Webber and ruined Vettel's race was a problem that actually the guns and the air wasn't supplied to them. But this is the Red Bull right in front of me now onto slicks. It's Vettel. It's Sebastian Vettel, you're right. As Rosberg goes through with another fast lap, Jensen Button as well. Another awful pit stop there for Vettel. And uh, look at that, side by side. Williams, isn't there as well? Side by side, Hamilton and Vettel touching wheels. That, that surely is going to be investigated by the stewards. That's extraordinary. Here we go down the pit. So they're already racing into the pit lane, let alone out of it. So for the second <laughs> time today, Hamilton's not on the racing on the racing circuit. And uh, and this is obviously before the stops. Vettel had a had an appalling stop. The right rear looked like it was uh, sticking as well. Here we go. Well, th to be honest, they they both got released at exactly the same time. Rosberg continues to lead as Mark Webber comes through then on the inside of Heike Kovalainen and up into eighth place. Suddenly two, three, four cars abreast almost. One on there is Lewis Hamilton getting a tow from Barrichello. Rubens Barrichello through turn 13. There's Webber, there's Vettel, Barrichello, Hamilton. So it seems so straightforward and the sunshine yesterday in qualifying the two Red Bulls at the front then Alonso then Rosberg and the two McLarens frustrated that they didn't do better and now because of the rain it's all jumbled again once more it's as if we're in Malaysia and through comes Hamilton great move there has he got enough to keep ahead there of Rubens Barrichello who's coming back at him Barrichello went deep into the hairpin as did the two Red Bulls now also we're going to see that racing between those two cars Here is, is this Vettel having a go on the inside of Mark Webber? It is, and he looks as if he's pulled one out as well. He has. They've got to uh, rely on the driver's information on such a changeable track. Cover line and then up into sixth place for Lotus at the moment. Extraordinary, isn't it? You've got Alga Schwari in fifth. Saying earlier in the week, and here comes Lewis Hamilton coming through then on the inside of Mark Webber. Webber really Oof. ruining two things. There's a headwind down that back straight, which makes it doubly difficult if you're in front. And he's carrying more wing on that car in case there's a heavy rain later on. May pay dividends at some point, but right now he's just a sitting target on the one kilometre back straight. Sutil's passed Kovalainen and during this lap then. And now he's got that pair behind him. He'll not be keeping those behind very long. Vettel fancies a look around the outside into turn one. And Hamilton will get blocked is one of the problems but also while the driver's looking to make sure he gets through also he's got to watch his mirrors from who might come behind as well Heike knows there's very little point in banging wheels and losing a front corner against a car that's so much faster than his interesting to see what's going to happen here because remember in Malaysia two weeks ago Lewis Hamilton charged through the field and then couldn't find a way past Adrian Sutil Mercedes powered Force India, but here comes Sebastian Vettel, and also coming down on the outside having a look is Lewis Hamilton. Double Sutil holds him. Double oh, strike. Oh, and through comes Sutil. Or oh, through goes Hamilton ahead of Sutil, but Vettel's coming back as well. So two places gained there by Lewis Hamilton. Sutil trying on the inside now of Vettel and regains the position. So Vettel uh, knocked his front wing. Hamilton with a double slipstream from the Force India and the Red Bull, plus the uh, extra duck that we've been showing you just sailed down that back straight and picked them off as uh, they were busy fighting each other. Mercedes power then fends off Renault power. Force India from Renault, from Red Bull. Uh, he's got good traction, good purchase there, but he had to get out of the throttle. Sutil begins to pull away, and now we're in the slipstream. Have we got enough speed in this Red Bull Renault 
So, yeah, we have. In a headwind, it's helping. Sutil, half goes defensive, not enough. Will and he get now, him back, uh, though, at the end of the straight, though? Let's see. Locked up a little under braking there to Sutil, but Vettel has him. And will Weber make his way through as well on the inside? Yes, he has. In fact, Weber has done exactly almost what Lewis Hamilton did there and got two for the price of one. Rain forecast in three minutes of a very similar intensity as the start. So similar rain again in about three or four minutes. Here is Hamilton then on the outside of Michael Schumacher coming down towards the hairpin. Has he got enough or has Michael Schumacher done enough to hold that inside line? And again he has. Lewis Hamilton providing the dramatics but couldn't quite get through. This is allowing the Red Bulls to get on the back of... Uh... Hamilton he's got a much better drive out of 13 this time I think he'll uh, be past him halfway down the straight this time here he goes and that's that's difficult to defend they've got a slow car on the inside but the track's wide enough and it's Michael now in the slipstream and uh, he'll be fancying and, and what he has he got this right Lewis has gone well wide and Schumacher gone through and he's ahead again or can Michael Schumacher come back or has Lewis got it through and Hamilton is ahead now but what about Vettel coming now on Michael Schumacher? Is this going to be the right moment? Answer, not yet. Here's another fight we've been looking forward to. The man they call the new Schumacher, who really is the new Sebastian Vettel, up against Schumacher. Look how much uh, drive he's got out of the corner as well. And in that slipstream, the Red Bull will have enough. Something um, just bad. I don't know if there's a vortice of just from the damp air that was coming out of the side of Vettel's left side pod. I think it's just the vortices that sort of boil off the edges of the aerodynamic pieces. That was the way to do it, just usher Schumacher out to the edge of the track, continue on your line and continue out in front and next up Mark Webber. Will he find that as easy? Button is really close isn't he on Nico Rosberg? They're both on the softer tyre. I Rosberg... happened because the last lap he was what, four and a half seconds down and yet here he is right on his tail and he's having a go now. Rosberg uh, lost over a second in the middle sector. And Jensen Button looks to have got ahead of him and he is down on this long back straight. He's round that hairpin but maybe on the inside line Rosberg will be able to regain position. No, Button accelerates away. So it's 2-0 to the McLaren in a sense. Past the two Mercedes. Firstly Hamilton past Schumacher and now Button past Rosberg. There we go. There's the replay. So he's gone off. And that's why he lost so much time. Button's kept it all together. And uh, that's why uh, that's down at turn 11. That's why Button was so close coming onto the back straight. Another angle of the same incident. Into the pits they two come. So presumably for intermediates. They don't fancy it. It is obviously raining heavier than before because this seems like a no brainer to them. So Schumacher seventh, oh, the right Weber front. eighth, oh, not again. That wasn't one of the smoothest stops. See ahead though, it's Algashwari, Sutil, Alonso comes in, so does Massa. This is going to be smart work by the Ferrari mechanics. And Hamilton's really taking it gingerly here. They're Likewise, both. Vettel button in and he's gone for intermediate tyres. Rothberg's in and so is Kubica. All action in the pit lane again once more. And we're waiting to see whether we're going to get yet more. Rain. Oh, there's a problem there. Now, the something got at the back of Algashwari's car. Just the, that's his front, no, it's a front, his isn't it? front what wing. What has gone wrong there? What He's the uh, run over his own front wing. He's tagged it on something. That's how Algashwari lost his front wing, coming out of uh, four into the kink of five. And the safety car is out. Oh, he's Jensen, calling that's around. not oh, the right come thing on. to do. What's that's silly. Here? That's, that's sending all sorts of cars and bunching them up in a completely difficult way because they're allowed to start overtaking, not on the pit straight from the start line, but from the first safety car line, which is just by the entrance to the pit lane. Jensen. So Jensen Button will start now. He's asking for trouble pulling that little... That oh, little look, stunt. there's a Red Bull going way, way off there. Is that Mark Webber who went off there? Either way, Jensen Button under attack. You can see how much rain's coming down. There's plumes of spray coming up behind the cars. And is that Michael Schumacher? Where are we now, though? Petrov and Kubica, did they manage to hold station there? Or they actually... It's Chandok who's going back, actually. The blue flag should be waved. He should be letting, moving aside to allow the cars to come through. And that, of course, causes problems. You can see Hamilton now coming round on the outside of Michael Schumacher, if he can. Schumacher holds him and then gradually squeezes him out. And Schumacher, almost a little twitch then. Holds line, though. And Hamilton has to wait again. Sotil has made up ground because it was Red Bull and was it also Vettel who went had a problem? 
Weber went wide, but Vettel seems to have suffered as well because Sutil's got through, and also Alonso's got through as well. So Button's tactic, some might say, wasn't kind at all. It certainly paid off for him, but not for Look the at Lewis. He's Here he is it. on the inside of Michael Schumacher. A wonderful move there, unless Schumacher can come back. Look at him right there, but holds the car, still in control. And here we go. So uh, it was, oh, I see, yeah, it was actually, he did, Hamilton did go into the side of Weber, but he had uh, Vettel up on the inside of him. It seems as if well, Schumacher's just going backwards at the mud, isn't yeah. he? This is a man who was such a, a rainmaster, someone who just seemed to excel in these sort of conditions, could read a race, could read the weather, could read everything, it seems. And yet, whatever, he seems to have forgotten the expertise of the man, he seems to have dropped the book. And uh, comes Hamilton now on the inside there of Petrov. Played the same trick on the exit of eight into nine, catching them unawares. So Hamilton now up into fourth place. Next up, it's Robert Kubica. Look at the way he's streaking clear then of Petrov. Those who have retired include Degrassi, De La Rosa, Buemi, Kobayashi, Luzzi and Glock. And here comes Hamilton now against Pet uh, Kubica down towards this hairpin. Hamilton on the outside. Has he managed to get enough? Has he got through and round? And can he hold that line? He has. He's moved swiftly across there to take the inside. And this is Alonso challenging Sutil. Seemingly at the same place. And Alonso seemingly pulling the same move. Squeezing him out as he's entitled to do. And through he goes. And Vettel will try to fail the same manoeuvre as well. Renault is off then. Oh, Petrov. Uh, Petrov. Was fifth, but he's allowed through Mark Weber or Sebastian Vettel rather, and Alonso. So Dak now into seventh. Lost it there and could almost have collected Alonso. Just got on the power too hard, too early. No traction control these days. Weber coming in, so he was just behind Felipe Massa in 11th. So he's stopping. Lewis Hamilton continues on his way. I wonder if Weber's and here's the move. He's going to try and make the move that's uh, worked so far. And, and he got such a good run out of seven that uh, Rosberg, but he's on the inside now. Good driving from Rosberg, good close contact from the pair, a close action from the pair of them. New intermediates for Lewis Hamilton. Oh, they've had to hold it for the Renault coming through. Smoothly done there by the McLaren mechanics. Also coming in is Fernando Alonso, who is in third. So the top three, Button, Rosberg, Alonso, all in the pits. Jensen Button re-emerge. Ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And where's the Nico Rosberg? Rosberg is going to be behind. So this could be a McLaren one too. They got this right. Through goes McLaren. Rosberg rejoins in third. That's why Chandok had a bit of a problem. Karen Chandok dropped it in uh, the exit of four. Michael sort of made his way past it with no dramas. Petrov, Al Jaswari. Al Jaswari is a new man this last couple of races. I have to say, I've been very impressed with his overtakes, but right now he looks vulnerable. Petrov's got him, and Massa's having a look on the inside as well. One Ferrari engine car, and that could be costly for Al Jaswari because Massa's coming through. Wheel to wheel now. Petrov is through. Massa, the experienced man. Got to choose his line carefully, and it looks like he's got ahead. Al Jaswari possibly choosing discretion there. Talk about Michael Schumacher, aren't we, rather than Nico Rosberg? Because here comes Petrov coming on the outside of Michael Schumacher. And the champion's got no answer to that, has he? Well, I don't think it's because he's a champion. It's because he has no tyres left yep. that he's got no answer to that, to be fair to Michael. Two Renault drivers in between the two Mercedes drivers. Weber under threat. Hamilton just going through now. Whoa, it's going to go around. He's held it. Petrov's got him. And Petrov is through then on the inside then of Mark Weber. As the gap closes once more between the leaders as well, but Weber slipped back. That's not what he will want after the frustration in Malaysia. He may have his teammate very close in his mirrors, but Jensen Button has been out on his own for much of this race. He's round the final corner, and only in his fourth race for McLaren, Jensen Button wins again. He's the world champion, and he's the championship leader. He heads into Europe, leading the way. It's a McLaren 1-2, Jensen Button from Lewis Hamilton. It's another podium for Nico Rosberg. Fernando Alonso scores for Ferrari. We wait to see where Sebastian Vettel is with Robert Kubica. Now, here comes Kubica into fifth place, yet more points. Second, fourth, fifth. The man who's on pole fails again to win in 2010.
this victory, uh, yeah, it's, it's very special and uh, it really means a lot. It was a, a tricky race out there and again, we called, we called it right and um, it means a lot. You know, it's not just about being quick, it's, it's about reading the conditions and uh, obviously coming along the, across the line just one second in front of Lewis, you know, I think it shows what a, what a team effort this has been and uh, what a great result for the, for the whole team.